Hi, I'm Shannon and welcome back to Broken Bedtime. It's great to see you all again. This week is the first of our Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome specials. I'm really excited today because our special guest is Lily Bourdain who plays Dr. Becca Kelly. Thanks for joining us, Lily. Thanks for having me. Let's jump straight in and talk about Battlestar Galactica. Yes. Yes, it's an online series called Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome. So you're starring in a Battlestar Galactica prequel. Tell us all about it. Yeah, it's the beginning of that that war that lasted 50 years between the humans and the robots that they created. Did you know anything about Battlestar Galactica before you got this role? Not much other than I'd seen it on TV a couple of times and I really enjoyed it and I thought, wow, this would be a show to be on. You play a key character in this show. Do you want to tell us about her? Uh, Becca Kelly is a scientist. She's an engineer. Um, and she works for Greystone in- Industries and she creates the Cylons. Well, no, she creates the Cylons. She helps create the Cylons brains. It's obviously a team of scientists working together. But she is one of the people who uh, makes the Cylons sentient so that they have feelings and uh, are more human. It looks amazing. What was your first reaction when you saw it? I was, when I saw it, uh, when it started playing on, on Machinima, and I started watching it, it just blew me away because we hadn't seen all that before. It was all, all the backgrounds and the environments were put in uh, way after we shot, for 10 months after we filmed. And we filmed about two years ago. So, uh, so it was a total, wow. I mean, I'd never been that. Because you usually have a sense of what things are going to be like. And we had a sense of what it was going to feel like and what we were bringing to it, but we didn't know it was going to look that real. I mean, it looks, a lot of those, most of it looks like it's a set. And it's really all been drawn in post-production because we shot with green screen. So so when we were shooting, all we saw was green and then occasional marks on the floor, uh, you know, a couple of props, and some of the set was placed in, but it was really minimal. And even the set that was placed in was green. So most of it was CG, no set, really? Uh, one, there's one, uh, the bedroom shot, that there was a bed and there was a cradle with a baby in it. There, there's one scene, if you look, uh, in the, on the snow moon that, was, uh, mo- w- that there was an actual set, but it was set. There were no walls. It was all green all around and the, the windows weren't there. It was just basically the, the, you know, the, ver- the sets that we needed to touch that we needed to really interact with were there, but everything else was green. I would never have known that it was all computer generated. It does, absolutely. It's absolutely amazing. And I went in and I met the guys who did it because I was like, I got to meet these guys. I mean, who are these people? And I went in and I met and 10 guys and they were so lovely and they were really happy to see me because they were like, you know, it's so rare that, that people come and visit us. They, you know, they call us and they, but I went in and I, I met these guys and they, they had worked 10 months after we shot. So we filmed it in three weeks, in 15 days. And they, um, they worked on it for 10 months to make it as amazing as it is. Is that a challenge? No, I mean, it's a welcome challenge because you get to use your imagination. You get to imagine what's there instead of green. You get to imagine in the snowstorm on the snow moon how, how cold it is. So it's... Uh, It's really a good exercise. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We can't wait to see it. Thank you for having me.